Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm gonna discuss why I'm selling my two Toyota pickup trucks or pickup slash Tacoma and um, just a little bit of the history of my Toyota background. So come along and enjoy the story. As of right now, I still own the Toyota 3.4 uh, 93. This is the vehicle that I did a 3-4 swap this whole year and I document that on my YouTube channel. You guys all know about it. And I, as of right now, I still have my 2003 Tacoma flatbed, the gold one, I recently purchased with less than two months ago. I did a brand new head on it, but right now I want to sell both of them. So back in 2013, I bought my first Toyota pickup truck. It was a completely bone stock. It was color gray and I bought it from a, a family member, but they were down the family tree line. My mom was like, oh, you know, uh, grandpa is selling his truck because he's moving out of state. Uh, would you be interested in go looking at it? So I went to look at that and I saw it and I like, yeah, let's buy it. So I bought that gray one back in 2013. I don't recall what I paid for it. I think I paid 3,005 or something along that line. And then I modified it. I put all the lift and stuff like that. And I sold that in 2016. That gray truck is probably the one that I have owned the longest as far as Toyota. I sold that in 2016 and that was super hard to do. Um, it was almost heartbreaking, but um, the reason why I sold it because I was going through a phase in life. In 2016, I quit my job and that's when I started my new career as a YouTube videographer and that's where I, I sold it. So from 2016 to 2018, I bought some other cars like a van, a Honda Accord. I didn't have any other to cool Toyota rigs. And then it wasn't until um, 2018 where I got my first Land Cruiser and I was influenced by the Land Cruiser because I had a few buddies who owned them. I was never... I never knew about them until they mentioned it. They're like, oh, the Land Cruiser, the FZJ80 is one of the best built vehicles. It comes with it comes with solid axle already. And that's what really intrigued me. And when I did my research, that's when I uh, I got really interested in the Land Cruiser. So in 2018, I bought my first Land Cruiser for 3,500, completely stock. Uh, it was a 94, <coughs> but it had, um, it's not the triple lock. You guys know what the triple lock is, is where it has front and rear locker and center diff lock. I bought it for 35, spent some money on that one because it did need some tune up. And then I also put some 35s, bumpers, winch, and I owned that for about two months. And then I sold it. I sold it and I bought the Green Beast, the green Toyota pickup truck that was solid axle swap, 22RE. I was influenced by that because I wanted an off-road rig. And at that time, um, I was like, man, the Land Cruiser is too big. It's too heavy. And that was the reason why I switched over to the pickup truck because the pickup truck... Um, it was fully built already, it had everything that I wanted and just needed a basic tune-up. <clears throat> so I bought that in 2018, uh, winter 2018. I wheeled it for a whole year and then the winter of 2019, I decided to sell that one too. And the reason why I sold that one was because I was going through another phase or another chapter in life. Falling year of 2020, which was last year, uh, following year, early spring of 2020, that's when I decided to go back onto Facebook, Crazy Legs, and I was looking around, and I saw this beautiful second gen 4Runner, um, the red one, you guys all know, and that one was like for 2,500, or I think I paid 2,000 for it, 22 RE. I bought that one, and you guys all know the story on that one. I crashed that one, I rolled it, the summer of 2020 on a fishing trip so that one was completely total after the red one the red forerunner i spring of last year i finally found this truck the one that i'm sitting in right now the truck that i did a 3-4 swap 93 3 4 93 3.0 completely bone stock super clean super beautiful so i bought this truck here and i did a few things some sliders trail gears full tune-up um, rear locker, 3-4 swap, and just little things like that. And then I also picked up a few other trucks along the way. You guys all know about the other trucks. I'm only mentioning the trucks that are drivable and I own it and I drove it. There was a lot of trucks that I own during this time, but they're all parts rigs, parts trucks. So I'm not even going to talk about that. So to be honest, I probably own over 15 or I probably had over 15 Toyotas in possession over this time span. So during this year, early this uh, fall, I picked up the Tacoma, the Tacoma that I have, the flatbed, because it was such a good deal, 1500 bucks. Couldn't pass that up. Uh, spent some good money on it, getting it back up and running. It runs great right now. It just needs a few other things. But now I'm deciding, or I haven't, I already decided, I'm, now I'm wanting to sell both of them. 
during this lifespan, I've owned pretty much most of the famous Toyota rigs besides Tundras and T100s. I don't, Tundras, T100s, I don't really care for them. T100s, I'm not a fan of them. Um, I would buy a T100 if I was going to use it for work because it has a big bed and maybe more power for towing. I would buy a Tundra if I wanted to do more towing. Um, but I have no purpose for it. All my trucks, I want to have, all my trucks that I have, I have a purpose. Either I use it or something like that. So Tundras, I don't have no use for it. I like them, but I don't I don't need it. So right now, I have owned the pickup, the 4Runner. Oh, and also the 3rd Gen 4Runner. The 3rd Gen 4Runner, the white one. You guys all know about that one. The one I swapped into that one I got from the auction. Eight years. I've been through a lot of Toyotas and I figure out what I need and what trucks does what and that's what I kind, of, I kind of boil down to. I have a kid now, I have a family, eventually I want to take them off-roading, camping, and the pickup, the Tacoma, doesn't cut it. Third gen 4Runner cuts it, but it's not as well built as a Land Cruiser, the FZJ80. The FZJ80 has the room for family, the reliability, the durability, and the capability of off-roading. So that's the reason why I want to switch and um, get go back into the FZJ80 series. So a lot of people are asking, Nick, why are you selling all your trucks? You know, if I was still single, <coughs> um, like I was a couple years ago, and I don't have kids, I don't have family to take, because back then when we did a lot of a camping trips, it was just me and my wife now. It was just me and her, we went with a truck, and it's perfect. Me and her, pack our, pack our stuff, and we just go camping. But now we have a little one, and I'm just thinking in the future. I'm thinking in the future on um, what we want to do, and I know I want to have room for my kids to be safe. And I think the FZ, I know the FZJ80 is probably one of the best vehicle. So with that being said, the pickup is now for sale. It's actually pending sale right now as we sit in this vehicle. I'm literally waiting for the owner to wire transfer the rest of the money. And then uh, we're gonna sell this. The Tacoma, we're gonna sell that as well. It's um, haven't had much interest on that yet. But if it doesn't sell, I'll use that as a temporary car just to get around town if I need to. Um, if I don't need it, then I'll just go ahead and park it in whatever the case may be. With my experience with Toyotas, that's what I, the, the conclusion has boiled down to getting a FZJ80. Now, if for some reason I couldn't find an FZJ80, I'll definitely settle for a third gen 4Runner and nothing more than that. I don't want to get anything newer than a third gen 4Runner. All the new cars, they're too, they're, they're nice, they're expensive, and they're not as capable as the older style. They just don't make them as good as they were back then. Just to wrap up this video, guys, that's the reason why I'm selling my Toyota trucks, pickup Tacomas, and why I'm selling is because I'm moving on to a new platform, the 80 series Land Cruiser. Hope you guys enjoyed this perspective. If you guys got any questions on any particular vehicles, recommendations, let me know in the comment section below. And I look forward to making more new videos once we find a new rig. Super excited, super pumped up, and I'll see you guys next time.